hi guys uh welcome back to this awesome tutorial so in today's class we actually be looking at the types of support and giving practical examples where the support are used in structures and in buildings so if this is your first time on this channel please kindly hit the subscribe button or you've been coming but you've not been subscribing hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so the first support is the roller support this support actually resists perpendicular forces but it actually gives room for parallel movement and rotation so and whenever there is a restriction there is always a reaction so that's why a roller support only have one reaction because it only resists perpendicular forces so it has one reaction in the vertical plane so and this roller support is actually used mainly in bridge deck to provide allowance for contraction and expansion of the bridge due to temperature changes so if this is not provided there will be a severe damage at the bank of the bridge then the second type of support is the pin support so pin support resists movement at the vertical and the horizontal plane so that's why an in support actually have a reaction in the vertical plane and in the horizontal plane and a similitude example of this in support is a inch door so inch door cannot move vertically cannot move horizontally but it can actually rotate so that's what an in support is then the third type of support is the fixed support this is also known as rigid support so fixed support restricts movement in the vertical plane in the horizontal plane as well as it also restricts rotation so most of the time a fixed support will have three reactions because there is no movement in the vertical plane therefore it has a vertical reaction there is no movement in the horizontal plane it has an horizontal reaction and there is no movement for there is no room for rotation therefore it has a movement then the last type of support though this is not really common but is a simple support so it's also known as a frictionless surface support so this actually restricts only perpendicular forces that is it restricts only vertical forces so it's actually very similar to a roller support so generally the major difference between a roller support and a simple support is a simple support restricts movement against gravity using the principle of frictional resistance so and a typical example of this is found in a plank that is laid across grab to form a bridge simple support is usually found in long span bridges and as well as in the roof of a building so thanks for listening if you find this video helpful kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification see you next time